follows on from a previous video I made when I compared Forensic Comparison Software to Photoshop. Now Photoshop is a very, very complicated and very powerful tool, but it tends to be far more than what the average fingerprint technician needs when they do some image enhancement, and I'll demonstrate. I'm just going to load a couple of images here. I'll load the same image to both sides by dragging and dropping it into the screen. Then I'm just going to use the scroll button to zoom in and then right click to orientate. Do the same for both sides. Right, now we've got basically the same image on both sides. Now I can see it's a grey on black background but I'm going to just change this to a black on white background with one click of the invert button and it's a little bit washed out so I'm just going to down brightness and up contrast and a little bit more down brightness and a bit more contrast up probably too much brightness just ease off on the brightness yeah, about there now it's got a little bit of blue tinge to it so I'm just going to use saturation to take that out okay now I'm going to sharpen the edges a little with my sharpen tool now you can really tell the difference if I zoom in a little bit more. You can see, particularly this area is fairly, fairly clear anyway, but some of this other detail starts to become visible on this side and I could start marking this up. I could just mark this one here. I mean there's, there's all this detail down here that's pretty clear and I'll just mark some of those now. And there's another one just there and another one just there and there. So it becomes a little bit clearer if you use the sharpen tool particularly to sharpen up those edges. Now I'm just going to do some ninhydrin prints. I'll do it on both sides. So this is a ninhydrin print. And I'll start by taking the color out of the print. My saturation. I'll up brightness, sorry down brightness, up contrast. Get that as clear as I possibly can and I might just do a bit of a sharpen there just to make the edges a little bit easier to see. I'll just zoom in on both of these by scrolling in and there's probably a little bit of detail lost there with the sharpen tool. I'll just ease off on that a little. Yeah, that's better. So now it's a lot easier to see the detail in this print than it is on this one over here. And if I have a lot of Ninhydrin prints, I can just go through to the next print. In this case, it's that one there. I don't have to do all of those same settings again, especially if you're doing a document with lots of Ninhydrin prints on it. All you need to do is hit the next button. It'll go to the next image in the folder and the, the settings, the enhancement settings are kept. So you don't have to keep doing that over and over. So it's just a bit of a time saver. And I'll just go to the next one. Okay, that's a very poor print. Okay, that's a little easy to see. As you can see that the, you can probably adjust the brightness a little here at this stage, just to make it a little bit clearer. It's a bit better there. And I can keep doing that for every print. That's a little bit dark, so I'll just ease off on the brightness. There we go, take some of that color out as well and so forth through the different prints here. Still a little bit too bright. There we go. You can get through a lot of prints this way. Now I'm going to go on to some fluorescent prints. Now I'll load these prints on both sides. Uh, and now I'm just going to take the color out of this print on the left. So make it just all black and white. And I might just invert it. Black on white is easy to see for some reason and contrast up, brightness down, a bit more down on the brightness, a bit more contrast up. Okay, so we can see it's a little bit easier to see than just the straight fluorescent print. And I can do the next one as well. I'll just go on to a, another print, this one here, and we don't have to adjust very much at all in this print. It's all uh, done for us because we've kept the settings from last time. sharpen a little. Okay, now I'll go on to the next one. A little bit ease off on the brightness. Take that colour out. Okay, and next one. Okay. And this one here that's a 
there is a, a difference between the top of the print and the, the bottom of the print. You can adjust the light settings as you mark out your features um, so that you don't have to um, have the one setting for the whole print. And you can see at the bottom of the print it's a lot easier to see the, the features at the base when I've decreased the brightness and, but the top of the print becomes less visible so I can adjust the brightness as I move up the print. Another very useful tool is the flip tool. If you have a suspicion that you might have a transfer print, you can flip the image by going to flip and it just takes it and it gives a mirror image on a vertical axis. So this uh, gives you the the impression as it would appear if it was transferred say in a plastic bag from one plastic bag to another in a drug type operation. And uh, that basically covers it.